Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Hope you're all having a good week as usual. And Cancer, let's see what your overall energy is. I did put singles readings up on Monday, so those of you who are single, looking for love, you can check those out in my playlist. See what your overall energy is. Ooh, the magic stream. Well, those emotions are starting to flow. You're manifesting something. Things are starting to move here. Definitely those emotions. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming out of the cold here. Beautiful. Their feelings are flowing. Someone's looking for a little encouragement here. A little bit of a nudge. Oh, yeah. Someone's feeling encouraged here. Someone who's been left out in the cold feeling little lonely like things are kind of stuck but it's flowing okay something is flowing nice this is something that you've likely manifested if not you have a person who's you know in that energy where they feel encouraged someone might be giving you a nudge telling you to get out there <laughs> okay get out and do things enjoy life the weather nature what's going on here cancer Oops. does cancer need to know about this overall energy i'm looking out the window while i'm focusing and there's three eagles oh they're fighting outside my window sorry <laughs> it's kind of hard and they're right there beating each other up all right cancer what does cancer need to know about this overall energy yeah, someone's been kind of stuck you see this is someone who's stuck okay this is someone who's been stuck in this energy so it could be a stubborn energy someone refusing to budge something is starting to move this is a person who could be in protective mode protecting themselves keeping things close to their chest yeah that's an energy of walking away we got someone walking away from that energy very nice nice energy yeah something starting to flow some of you are getting ready here oh yeah there we got eight of cups two of cups lovely manifesting this is beautiful oh my gosh look at that energy some of you are getting out meeting new people socializing with friends and family you're manifesting very positive news or some good news coming here this is great okay someone's coming unstuck where is my soulmate they're getting out they're looking for a connection i see could be a gemini energy it doesn't have to be i see a lot of water here <laughs> yeah love these someone's feeling encouraged okay beautiful we have a little taurus energy cancer this is you know how someone's conducting themselves this is someone you know who's feeling more positive ready to socialize feeling friendly they're manifesting you may get an invitation it could be some kind of event family something traditional okay wow look at this oh yeah you're gonna get some kind of wish come true this person's a little cautious though a little careful what they wish for oh yeah there's that queen of swords always showing up yeah so it's a judgment and a decision it has to do with releasing and letting go of something so it could be some old relationship baggage uh, just an energy of releasing old habits and traditions, letting them go. So I do feel somebody could be giving someone encouragement, speaking to them, telling them to uh, let go, to hurry up and make a decision, to let things flow, get out there and meet people. This could be a friend, a family member, could be a counselor, somebody wise, a spiritual advisor. Uh -huh. Wow. There, we got that spiritual advisor right there. We got someone learning. Yeah, the School of Hard Knocks here as well. So some very wise people, very educated. Someone here could be a teacher, you know. But there's something being learned here. I like this energy. I like that this person is encouraging this person to make a decision, to release. Okay, to go for what they want. This is their hopes and dreams. Tell me what this Four of Swords is. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I love this energy. This is that judgment, the release, ending a cycle so a new cycle begins. It's very positive. Things are about to go in someone's favor. Someone's feeling encouraged or someone's encouraging someone too. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person here. It could be telling you this to make a decision or someone else regards to yourself. Very wise advice, possibly. 
to me about this Eight of Cups. Why is this here? Eight of Cups energy. Oops, it got away. Eight of Cups energy. There we go. Yeah. So it's definitely someone who is releasing some kind of burdens, baggage. They're letting something go. It's a cycle that's over. It's time to walk away and leave it in the past. So it's complete. So where is my soulmate? Someone's looking for a soulmate. Someone to connect with. Maybe be friends first. Okay. Get out. Socialize. I feel really, really positive energy. It's like somebody's just all the, the, the switches flipped here with someone. Yeah, see, it's an energy of healing and releasing. We got two people here. Yeah, there's some change here. Sometimes, you know, this is an energy of just letting something go, just blowing it off and letting it go, be done with it. It's baggage. It's not, you know, it's a thought that pins someone down, but it's two people talking, clearing things up. Uh, and there's some kind of change. So this is very, very positive. It's a, it, things are starting to move. It's an energy of just going with the flow. Oh, yeah. Letting things happen naturally. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So we have this passionate new beginning. This could be a creative pursuit or something as well. Two people coming together, kind of thinking, making a decision to come together and collaborate to work together on something. But it does feel like uh, a relationship. Maybe some kind of pause or separation. Something to do with the world. Wow. I see this beautiful, passionate new beginning, though. Someone's manifesting this energy. Oh, yeah. Happy home, happy life, strong financial foundation. There's a reason to celebrate a family reunion, a get-together, uh, something traditional. You may get an invitation to somebody's yearly um, event, something that they do, okay, a celebration. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Yeah, beautiful. Hmm. Gemini, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody, oh yeah, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Look at that. Two, I, I feel like you're going to meet someone. You're going to connect with someone at a party, a celebration, something traditional. Okay. This is, I, I like this. This two people being on the same page, sort of thinking the same thing. <laughs> I love this. Look at that communication. Why is this Hierophant here? This could be a commitment or marriage or somebody's wedding. It could be a celebration. You may get an invitation. Or it could be in the fact that two people are um, clearing the air, clearing things up. Things are moving forward. Maybe, you know, two of you mirroring each other, manifesting here. Uh, commitment and marriage, yeah, look at that energy. I see that Eight of Cups, or pardon me, Nine of Cups energy. Is that up there? No. Oh, yeah, we got two people here. Look at that beautiful energy. Two people wishing and hoping for the same thing. Uh, getting on the same page, seeing eye to eye, soulmate connection. Now, you're either going to get an invitation or you're going to run into somebody uh, and you're going to connect. Or you already are with this person. You know who they are. It could be a reconnection after a little pause or separation, clearing things up. I feel there's this beautiful change, this passionate new beginning. This is beautiful energy. Uh, I like it. Things are flowing. The emotions are flowing. This is two people manifesting uh, the same thing. Oh, yeah, we have, <laughs> look at that. That actually goes there. It's where I was talking. So we have the Queen of Cups here. Look at that, Cancer, yeah. You want reciprocity. You want that soulmate connection. You know, it's possible some of you could clear the air with somebody and still move on kind of see that here but i do see somebody making a decision it has to do with someone's intentions yeah there's definitely something to be learned moving forward calmly and peacefully making peace some of you could just make peace with someone from the past okay they may come around you could make peace it could be some kind of closure uh, but i feel most of you it's moving forward calmly and peacefully you got someone making a decision they're learning something you got someone who wants to get to know you more they want to learn now, I don't know whether it's advice or some kind of spiritual teaching. I see even possibly some kind of retreat, travel. Beautiful, yeah. We got two people here growing closer. You're gonna, you've got a person here. There's two people coming out of the cold. Okay, two, I feel it's both of you feeling stuck, you know, kind of trapped, not moving, and things are starting to move. Yeah, we have justice, somebody doing things just right. Beautiful. Justice is going to be in your favor here, Cancer. 
Oh yeah, you have an opportunity. Some, someone coming in just right. Things are flowing. See, that deep freeze energy is over. It's flowing. Things are flowing. It's some kind of encouragement. Somebody is encouraging someone to do it too. <laughs> uh huh. I can see that. Whether it's yourself or this person. Tell me about this. There's that. There it is right there. I knew I seen that card in this reading. And it's funny. I was focusing up here. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Yeah, you both want the same thing. But you're both cautious, a little careful what you wish for. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Things are speeding up, though. I see a lot of talk, communication. What's this Queen of Swords saying? Oops, there we go. Oh, yeah. Stay in your Empress energy. No, it's about being more open, making a decision to be open, get yourself out there. It's also an energy of someone being very discerning. Yeah, a little Aquarius energy. It's about healing and releasing. Someone's telling someone to let somebody go, okay, uh, to heal. So it could be an energy of just getting some closure, but I do feel the birth of something new after letting go. Yeah, this could even be your self-cancer, being very discerning, questioning someone, you know, making a decision, a judgment. Someone is encouraging someone, though. There's a lot of encouragement here. I think you got a person encouraging somebody here to let go of something here, uh, to allow that new, the birth of something new. You see, it's healing, nurturing, caring. This is somebody telling somebody, this person's really loving, nurturing, and caring. Let go of somebody. So someone's being let go, okay, being released. Or it's just an, a final stage of healing. Yeah, it's time to take a leap of faith, a little bit of a risk. Mm-hmm. This is that new energy, you see. Off towards something new, off on a new path. Yeah, there's definitely beautiful energy. Someone is definitely encouraging somebody. This is someone telling somebody. you got somebody who's got your back here. you got someone who has your back. I do see a Gemini. I do see Aquarius or Libra uh, for some of you. Or they're just somebody who speaks their truth very clear, very wise. Some very wise advice is what I feel. To take a risk. Someone's telling somebody to take a risk. To take a, to offer this. Now, it could be just an invitation. Okay? To just go for it. <laughs> now, it could be yourself or someone's telling you to. Okay? You may have had a tough time in love. Okay? You're waiting for someone to reciprocate. You may be, you know. It's how you're conducting yourself right here, too. You're changing how you conduct yourself. Like I say, it could be even be yourself being more discerning about taking risks or leaping into things. But I see this beautiful new beginning. I see three aces right down here. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of encouragement here. I think someone's just encouraging somebody you know, to just go for it, to just take a leap of faith. It looks really, really positive. Tell me about this ace of, whoops, there it is. Oh, yeah, we've got a person here who's uh, definitely feeling the love. We have the king and queen of cups. You know, there's a lot of, this is someone's feelings that are starting to flow here. They're starting to have some, it could be where you're seeing somebody and uh, you've been waiting for this person to share their feelings and maybe you feel like you should just walk away. But I do see this clearing of the air, creating the change and things flowing, somebody being more emotionally available and mature. So you got somebody who wants this passion in the beginning. This is someone quite attractive, okay? I do see two kings here. I see two queens here, king and queen of cups, king and queen of pentacles. Um, king and queen of swords are here as well. Hmm, I like that. When you know things are complete. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a beautiful energy. Tell me about this love, this choice in love. Yeah, we've got someone who's do, definitely thinking about love, learning, growing closer with somebody. This is somebody who wants to get to know someone. This is someone I feel their strategy is to take the time to get to know somebody. Okay. This has to do with their feelings or emotions. This is someone who's planning for success here. You can see their energy, stable, practical. This is someone who's manifesting. Okay. This is someone who knows what they want. King of... Some of you might even have a choice of a few people around you, but it really feels like one particular person who's going through the motions. Yeah, it's a mirroring energy. Two people mirroring each other, manifesting love here. It's two people who have all the tools they need. This is someone who's definitely strategizing, you know, mastering the elements. They're going through a learning process. Someone wants to get to know you more. 
And the more you get to know this person, the more they're going to manifest this, the more they're going to see that you're just right, okay? Um, wow, two people growing closer here. Something is, there's a, definitely a transition. Now, I don't know if you're taking a trip, you're going to see this person, uh, but there's definitely this transition. Oh yeah, manifesting financial stability, a relationship, two people who look out for each other's best interests here. Wow. It's coming. Someone's being encouraged to offer. And someone's extending an offer to some a party, a celebration, some kind of yearly event. Okay? It's something traditional, whether it's a family thing or a community traditional thing. There's going to be an invitation. You're going to go for it. I feel you're going to go for this. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Someone's going to tell you to just do it. Okay? Uh, very nice. Yeah, there it is. There's that new something new sun is shining it's a beautiful day off towards something new oh this is so nice cancer you're right here in the heart of this reading you're, the way you're conducting yourself you want love you want that traditional kind of love commitment you know you are being very you're being a little cautious but i feel you know you're not going to take a risk you're going to stay in the empress you're going to offer one cup and just kind of see make sure you're comfortable with this person that they want to take the time to get to know you so I do see a little trip or travel possibly involved in this. But I see an ex uh, somebody's reaching out to extend an offer. This is the hopes and dreams. Okay. Beautiful healing energy. Now I don't know if it's you and this person reconnecting. Not really seeing a lot of that energy. I'm seeing more. It's possible. It could be a reconciliation, a new beginning after a healing period or a breakup. Uh, but for some of you, I feel it's more of a... An, an opportunity and what you're leaving behind is something else because I see a whole new cycle somebody new okay so we shall see though you guys will have to let me know on that one could go either way but I love the sun I like this I like the healing I like the star it's someone who sees your worth and your value so this is someone telling someone you know this is someone giving someone advice to make the right decision for yourself whether someone's right for you or not uh, so don't be afraid to take a little bit of a risk, but just make sure everything's out in the open. Someone may be even telling someone if they're, I don't know what this is. It's a, there's some kind of party, celebration, festival. Uh, someone's telling someone to <laughs> wear sunscreen. There's a lot. This We've got someone who talks a lot here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull out a couple outcome cards. Where's this headed and what the heck is this all about? Yeah, you've got a couple people feeling it. Boy, those emotions are flowing. Yeah, there's a storm field here, you see. It's a storm field, something coming in out of the blue. So there could be someone giving someone advice. It could be sunscreen. It could be um, a windstorm, okay, thunder showers, whatever the situation. So I feel it's probably, this is down here is likely a side story, but yeah, if it fits, it fits for you. I see that leap of faith, something new, making a decision. Something happening very quickly, like I say, coming in out of the blue, very fast. You need to, you're probably going to need to make a quick decision. Yeah, coming to life. So there's an aha moment here. Things are becoming very clear. Uh, so it, it's a, like someone's waking up to love, all right? Ready for love, ready to love again. And that's what I feel. See the release for something new. Someone who's been stuck sitting at home refusing to budge as now their feelings are flowing it could be somebody at a bit of a emotional block feelings are starting to flow here and then we have teach so there's that energy of two people learning and teaching each other how they want to be treated two people learning about each other growing closer so i do see education travel relocation for some of you because i've seen another reading too oh, somebody traveling here Somebody's turning their back on somebody too. It's an aside story uh, and going off towards somebody else. I do see learning. I see a contract, someone doing what's right for them. It has to do with the learning, possibly relocation in school, taking a risk. Uh, someone is definitely may need to make a decision to start something. Uh, but I, for most of you, this is definitely a, a, a relationship between two people there's a lot of emotion a lot of water cards here a lot of finance finance cards as well a lot of creativity a lot of building and healing energy 
So let's see what the universe has to say. The universe has your back deck. Cancer, what does the universe have to tell you? Message from the universe. What do they have to tell you? I honor how I want to feel. Yeah, so it's honoring how you feel, if you're comfortable with the situation or not. There's something to do with learning, education. Now, this could be just down here, so teaching someone how you want to be treated, okay, before you take a leap of faith. You want everything out in the open. But I do feel there is definitely this uh, reaching for the stars, value, worth, someone's self-worth. Okay, so there's some, uh, there's been a learning process here. I'm just going to move that because it's kind of getting in the way. What else does the universe have to tell cancer? Does the universe have to tell cancer? There we go. Through prayer, and through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So this is an energy, I feel for some of you, there is an energy of making peace, peace with the past, uh, possibly a reconciliation between a few people, but it's also leaving the past in the past, making peace with it to move forward, because that's that world, the change. So you definitely have a person here who's thinking about marriage and commitment. I can see it. And it's about doing things just right. This opportunity. The emotions are flowing. Someone's feelings are starting to flow. Feeling ready for love again. I choose to learn through love. I love that. There is nothing sexier than authentic than my authentic truth. Ooh. You know, there's definitely someone here who's quite sexy and attractive, emotionally available and mature. See, that's sexy when someone can be emotionally available. Oh, yeah, that's that softer side. Very sexy. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. So you've got a person here who's definitely very much into love. Okay, so those feelings are flowing here. You're going to either meet them or you know who they are. Uh, expect an invitation, if you don't, to some kind of an event. This person's coming in right. They want to go about things the right way. And that's what I like about this energy. So if some of you do have someone here, if you, you may have a choice between two, you may decide to move away to avoid a disaster What with one person, move towards another. Someone you can rely on that makes you feel safe and sh secure. But I really feel it's actually this person, uh, this king, energy somebody is becoming an emperor because we already have an empress here you see so we've got someone here doing catch up <laughs> that's what i feel so they're learning something about themselves about their feelings and emotions they're starting to flow someone's learning to love again beautiful energy cancer stay on course something is coming to life okay take care and we'll see you soon